Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch with me, Gustav Miller, as your host. And today, the first in a short series of three Irish whiskies that I'm reviewing. I am going to look at the Teeling Small Batch Whiskey and the Teeling Single Grain, and then also the Teeling Single Malt Brabazon Series number two. So, an exciting short series of Irish Teeling whiskies. But for today, the Teeling Small Batch Blended Whiskey from Ireland. And it comes from the Teeling Distillery, even though it's not using Teeling Whiskey at the moment. And uh, I'll get to the reason why in a minute or two. The Teeling Distillery was founded in 2015, so only two years ago, by the Teeling family. And it is the it was the first new distillery in Dublin, Ireland in 125 years, if I've got everything correct. So after a very long time, the first new distillery. But the Teeling family has been in the whiskey business since around 1782. And the previous distillery that they owned was the Cooley Distillery, which they sold to Bean. But they kept some of the stock from the Cooley Distillery and they're using that stock at the moment for their current bottlings until they have stock from this new exciting Teeling Distillery that they have opened. So for today, the Teeling Small Batch Matured in X bourbon casks, but then for the last six months, matured in X rum casks. It says it right there in the very fine print on the bottle. So I'm excited about this to see what the rum cask influence is going to be on this blend. Bottled at 46% and non-chill filtered. So we're going to see... What we have in this whiskey, we've got a yellow gold color. Blended whiskey, so I'm, I'm getting the grain whiskey influence on the nose immediately. Sweet corn, honey. It's young, so there's a bit of a grassy note. And I'm picking up a coconut. I wonder if, if, if that might be... Although that can't be from the rum cask, that's probably still ex-bourbon cask influence. Spicy, a little bit of pear. The, the dark, dark fruits that you will get from a rum cask is very, very soft in the background. So not a very prominent rum cask influence on the nose. Wonderful whiskey, even though it's young, even though it's fresh, it's got a, it's got a, a creaminess and a, and then, a little bit of a complexity to it. Maybe because of the different casks in which it was matured, fresh, spicy, creamy vanilla. The citrus influence is there from the ex bourbon casks, grain whiskey sweetness on the palate. There's a little bit of bitter marmalade coming through at the moment. And the dark fruits, just a hint of the dark fruits, the raisins and the berries and plums and dates and a bit of cinnamon in the background. Just a hint. So not overpowering rum cask influence in this whiskey. Mm. I think that rum cost just adds a, a slight layer of complexity without overpowering it at all. It's got a medium long finish, warm finish, a spicy finish with the vanilla and the marmalade and that dark fruits just sort of lingering in the background. I wonder what a few drops of water will do. Let me just get my water. If I add a few drops of water to this, let's see what happens. More vanilla. 
but the sweet, sweet corn notes are still there. And it's a little bit softer after the water, less bitter marmalade. Yeah, very good. Very interesting blend from Teeling. I'm looking forward to see what else is going to come from that distillery. Cost-wise, it's around $34 and about 40 euros, 33 pounds from what I could get from my research. And here in South Africa, 550 South African Rand. If you want to pair this whiskey with a food snack, you can use something that will connect to the citrus fruits. So you can use a lint sumptuous orange uh, chocolate that comes to mind I think that'll work very well but also the vanilla the vanilla notes that's something that you connect with maybe a vanilla custard dessert or a creme brulee but for today I've decided to make it a little bit interesting and I've got a little bit of um, rum and raisin ice cream I've decided seeing that this was this matured in in rum casks, let's go for something interesting and try a bit of rum and raisin ice cream. So I, I want to try and connect with the rum influence in this whiskey. So let's try this. Creaminess. The raisin. This can be a lot of fun. This can be a lot of fun. It's connecting the creaminess and the creaminess is connecting and the ice cream idea is quite refreshing. Maybe you want to experiment with a couple of different types of ice cream with this wonderful whiskey. Thanks for watching. See you again tomorrow because there's lots more whiskey tasting, whiskey reviews and whiskey and food pairing to come. Slanger.